So you might be setting up a new tank. You might be rescaping an old one. And the question has come up, what am I gonna do about substrate? Am I gonna go with sand? Am I gonna go with gravel? If you are considering your choices, this is the video for you. Thanks for being here. Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics. And yes, we're going to be looking at sand versus gravel. There is a lot to consider and this is, make no mistake, a really big decision when it comes to aquascaping an aquarium. There's a lot of things you can do that you can change later on. You can switch from fake plants to real. You can switch your wood and your rocks and your, even your filtration. But when it comes to the substrate, if you plan to switch that later on, it's gonna cause you to have to break down the entire tank most likely. So let's get it right from the start. We're gonna talk about the advantages and disadvantages of sand and gravel. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so I think the first thing and one of the most obvious things is looks, right? When it comes to sand and gravel, which one looks better? Well, really, that's basically up to you. Which one do you think looks better? What is the look that you're going for in your aquarium? It's really up to you. However, there are some things to consider when it comes to even just the look of sand versus gravel. I think the first thing to understand is you can get both gravel and sand in many different color varieties. However, generally speaking, at least for the main colors when it comes to sand, whether that's white or tan or even black, those colors tend to be just part of the properties of the substrate and therefore you're really not gonna see much of a color change later on. When it comes to gravel, that situation can be quite different. If it's not your normal rock colored rock, a lot of times the gravel is going to fade over time. And so if you get the colors like the greens and the blues and the pink and the orange and the yellow, those colors will fade over time. And even black gravel, it will also fade over time. So when it comes to looks, it's really up to you. But when it comes to the color, it depends on the substrate. Generally speaking, the sand is going to re retain its color a little bit more. One other thing to consider is the color of your substrate is going to make a difference regarding how your fish look. We've done videos on that before. I'll put it in the upper right hand corner as well as in the description below. And if you want to learn a lot more about substrate, there's going to be a ton of videos down in the description. You'll be an expert by the time you finish all those videos. Now, of course, another big consideration that you're going to have to make is the health of the fish. And this is the most important consideration out of everything we talk about today which substrate is going to be better for your fish. For the most part, sand is the much safer way to go. And the reason for that is a lot of the fish that are available in the hobby prefer sand. Most of the fish that are gonna be your bottom dwellers like your quarry cats and your loaches and your plecos, those fish really do prefer sand. Not to mention the vast majority of your cichlids are gonna have a much better existence with a sand substrate compared to a gravel substrate. In fact, there really aren't that many fish out there that actually prefer a gravel substrate. Now the next major consideration is maintenance. And this should not be overlooked because this is where the two substrates can really set themselves apart. When it comes to maintenance, gravel has this unique ability to hide a lot of the fish waste and detritus and the stuff that falls to the bottom of the tank, a lot of that stuff winds up going in between the pieces of gravel. And so you don't really see it. And it doesn't wind up in the water column as much. And so it kind of masks that. Where if you've got sand, because it's more tightly compacted together, a lot of the fish waste, a lot of the detritus will sit on the surface of the sand. What that means is if you're dealing with gravel, sometimes if you don't see the stuff building up, what that means is if you don't see the detritus and the uneaten fish food and the fish waste on the substrate as often, for some people, they don't maintain their tanks as often. And that can be a problem. So if you wind up with a bunch of stuff in the gravel and you're not removing that stuff, that can lead to higher nitrates. Nitrate is basically algae food and that can lead to an increase in algae. And so in some cases, when it comes to gravel, we have to make sure that we're properly removing that waste so we don't wind up with water quality issues later on. It's a little bit more obvious when you have a sand substrate. 
Now, what that also means is when it comes to maintaining that substrate, and by the way, we've done videos on how to maintain the sand substrate. I will put that down in the description below as well as the right-hand corner. But when it comes to maintenance, the gravel is actually a little bit easier to maintain because you can take a gravel vac, you can shove it in the gravel, and you start to see all that stuff coming out and you're removing it. When the detritus is on the surface of the sand, depending on the type of sand, it might not be as easy to use a gravel vac. Sometimes the sand will actually get sucked up into the gravel vac, wind up in a bucket, wind up in your sink, and clog up your drains, which we definitely want to try to avoid. That problem is pretty much non-existent when it comes to gravel. And like I alluded to earlier, when it comes to a sand substrate, once that stuff, the detritus is on the surface, it really becomes evident even after a day or two, right after you do your fish tank maintenance. So it's gonna take more frequent maintenance typically than gravel. By the way, if you're considering a sand substrate and you wanna see our favorites, I've got Amazon affiliate links down for Carib Sea Naturals and Carib Sea Cichlid Mix. These are two of my favorite sand substrates. You'll learn a lot more about them if you check out the links below. Now, one of the big questions we get is, what about plants? Do plants have a preference for one over the other? And in our experience, for the plants that we grow, the answer is absolutely not. There is no difference between sand and gravel. And I know there are a lot of people who feel strongly either way that you absolutely must use sand if you're going to get plant growth. And there are other people who say, oh, the sand is too compact, the roots don't grow, they don't, plants don't send out the runners. In our experience, it hasn't mattered, at least for the plants that we keep, which are crypts, sword plants, different types of val, jungle val, your Italian val. For the most part, a lot of the plants that you would find in a Petco or a PetSmart at your local fish store that are rooted, that go into the substrate, we've had no problems growing them in gravel or sand. What we typically do is we will throw in root tabs. I've done videos on how to do DIY root tabs that will save you a lot of money. But we put the root tabs, we put the plants in, put the root tabs in, and they've been growing very well. Doesn't matter if it's gravel or sand. Now, one slight advantage you might have using the gravel is the gravel, like we talked about already, will trap a little bit more of that detritus. It traps a little bit more of that fish waste, which can be used by the plants as food. And so you might not have to add root tabs as often. And in fact, we don't add root tabs to our plant, or to our substrate anymore because the fish waste is pretty much doing the job that it's supposed to do. Finally, there are a couple other things you should consider. When it comes to sand, there is a higher likelihood that that sand is gonna wind up in your filtration. And that's not something to be overlooked. Gravel is big, it's heavy. Even if fish are picking it up and spitting it out, the likelihood that gravel winds up in an intake in a hang on back filter or in a canister filter is very low. When it comes to sand, that likelihood is a little bit higher because it tends to be lighter. If you've got fish that are sifting through the sand, that are spitting sand out, especially if the sand is a very light grain sand or very small grain, it could wind up in intakes of hang on back filters, of canister filters, get into the impellers and cause problems there and actually cause your filter to stop running. The easiest way to get around that, however, is to put an intake sponge on your hang on back filter or your canister filter that will prevent the sand from entering your filtration system. So when it comes to sand versus gravel, there is some important things to consider. Again, we wanna get this right, because if you're gonna change it later, it usually requires an entire breakdown of the tank. It really comes down to what are your needs for that tank. If you wanna see more information on substrate, check out the videos in the upper and lower right-hand corners, as well as the description below. Would love to hear from you. What's your favorite and why down in the comments section? Appreciate you being here and we'll see you in the next one.